In the world today, there are four different, I think, four different communication styles. And they're, half of that is with people who are people people, and the other half are task people who like, who only are focused on the task. So what's important about that is that when you're meeting somebody, how do you determine what your communication style and how do you connect to theirs and still have the same message? Now, I have four sisters, which I can't mention their names, but we can talk about them. My second sister is a relator. She's a people person. So I never can ask her one thing directly. I have to give her options of two. And she will always say, if you've made a decision with the other girls, leave me out of it. She doesn't like risk. If I go to my third sister, who is an absolute director, she'll say, you have, I've got 10 minutes to talk, talk to you. What do you want to accomplish? And if there's a problem with mother, are you going to handle it? And what are the downfall if you don't handle it? She takes no prisoners. That's my third sister. My fourth sister, who is a socializer, will say, I'll only get together with you if you're going to go to a great place to eat. Because she likes socialization. She wants to be the center of attention, and she wants socialization. If I go to my last sister, I'll say to her, we need to make a decision with mother. She'll say, got to give me a week to think about it. Those are the four styles. So if you are a person who tends to be laid back, and you're a thinker, or you're a relator, because thinkers do are laid back, and you meet somebody who is a socializer and a director, they have very fast pace, they make decisions very quickly, you kind of speed it up a little bit. Or if you are a director or a socializer, and you're really an extrovert, and you meet somebody who's introverted, you need to be slow it down a little bit. And you can tell how people are that way by the way they ask a question and the way they answer a question. Because when you can do that, you can adapt your communication style to different pe people. This is how you can get connected to them with either not scaring them to death or feel that you're a dead person. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So I want you to think about that because that's the real key thing about communication style is understanding your style if you're a thinker or if you're a relator or if you're a socializer or a director is how do you adapt to someone who's different than you?